Hi, welcome to another Power Blast podcast. Hey, I'm, a, I'm just now finishing my third week of X2. What is it? Like that? And it's going pretty well. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with how each week uh, just significant improvements. Uh, moves that I went to try that first time. Now I know that you're trying to learn different moves. But, you know, and, and so there's that little awkward phase of your first week and then you kind of get it down, try it on. Um, but the ones that I expected to be awkward each time and just going, oh my gosh, am I ever going to get this done or down or be able to do it? The, the numbers went up, the, the, the strength, the everything just kind of really just started clicking in. And so it's been pretty impressive uh, with, with the th three weeks so far. Now, uh, for all of you out there that, that are doing P90X2, you probably can relate, right? Uh, there, there's just some really unbelievable, uh, not super off the wall, impossible type of moves. Well, I take that back there, <laughs> some that seem that way. But, um, and, and I think for a lot of people, that, that they're, they're thinking that P90X2 is going to be a more intense version of P90X, and that's not so. It's it's, it's just very different work it moves, at least in, in my in the first phase that I've been doing. Um, you know, it's a foundational type of type of phase where you're just really engaging a lot of core uh, core exercises, combo type of moves, and um, and quite inventive, and then using some some different equipment. Um, Along with, uh, you know, like the, the using the med balls and and the rumba roller and the and the um, uh, stability ball, uh, which you didn't see in uh, P90X. So so just kind of just, a, I, I think there's a lot of misconception out there where people are thinking, oh my gosh, I've got you know I, I can't do that because. Uh, you know, P90X is, 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 is too, too, you know, is too much or something. Now, I think you'll do better, you know, you'll definitely do uh, yourself well to have completed at least uh, one round or, or more of P90X uh, because that's just going to give you that strength uh, and foundation that you need to, to uh, do these types of moves. But, um, you know, if, if there's any sort of uh, fear thinking, oh my gosh, it's going to be just that much more intense. Um, I think you you uh, owe it to yourself to to take a look in there, and um, you know you're really looking at more functionality and performance type of things. So uh, I've given my assessment on on the first phase, and uh, my my friend Arlene Paraiso that I uh, was talking to the other day, she she did a little video on YouTube of her five nemesis moves, and I know that uh, Tony a lot of times talks about moves that are like his nemesis, and I, I I agree. There are some moves that just for whatever reason, each time I face them, I'm like I'm gonna conquer this, and then I fail at them rather quickly. So, so there's a, there's a few um, moves like the, the one-legged med ball burpee, you know, just holding onto one, you know, the, the med ball jumping back on one leg, doing a push up and back. Yeah, that takes a lot of real core engagement and stability. Um, that, that one I've had a, a little challenge on. I think, what is that one in? Um, the X2, I think it's a core workout there. Um, and then there's this mule kick. Now the mule kick, I thought I was really having a super struggle of a time, but I'm going to tell you what, the video camera here um, is a great learning tool. Whether you share videos or not uh, is beside the point. If you can turn on the video camera and just watch yourself as you're going through workouts, whether it's P90X, doing yoga, doing uh, you know any of the other workouts, whatever you think in your head that you're doing, right, you, you can confirm or, or reject uh, that, that on the uh, uh, using video. Uh, a mirror, of course, works. And you know, sometimes I'll, I'll ask my wife, it's like, oh, it, it, you know, if I'm in this warrior three, you know, is my leg high, high enough? Um, and so, so there's always that. Um, uh, so, so the mule kicks, 
you know, I'm still getting better at, uh, you know, I won't call it one of my favorites, but, um, but definitely that. Um, there's, there's something in the core, uh, the, the power and balance one, where it's a Russian twist, where you're holding a, a little uh, med, med ball between your knees and then twisting alongside. I am still trying to get that one. And then there's just this other move what Tony's doing on the screen there, uh, where you're holding these weights up and you're, you're leaning against a core ball and then you push up with your elbow while you're lifting the weights up. Oh my gosh, I was all over the place on that one. Um, ab Ripper, as it's going, you know, I find myself having to hit the pause button. Maybe it's the timing of this move, but it's called a fail and twist. I talked about it before. It's just Oh my gosh, you, you sweat while it, it seems like you're doing nothing but reclining. Um, it's, it's, a, it's one of those uh, challenging moves. So, um, it, and there's, there's some other ones like a little, uh, you know, a kickback. You know, you'd think a tricep kickback wouldn't be too tough, but when you're bracing yourself on a med ball, it isn't the kickback that's got me. It's holding myself steady enough to do the kickback. Um, so, th there, there's these nemesis moves. and. Um, but, but wanting to get better. And, and so that got me to thinking because in P90X, you've got four weeks for each phase. You do three weeks of a certain set of workouts and then there's a recovery week and then another three and then a recovery week and then another three and a recovery week. Okay. Right. Um, so you work through P90X that way. P90X2 gives you a lot more flexibility. Um, there's, it, it's based on what you can do. So I know that there's probably a lot of people on there uh, going on their calendar and saying, okay, I've got the 90 day mindset, the P90X mindset. They're going through and saying, I'm gonna do three weeks of the phase one workouts, do recovery, and then jump into phase two. And if you're ready for that, that's really cool. Now, in my mindset is uh, I've, I've had some major improvement. And I'm almost looking at that first week as almost a, like a learning type of process. And uh, I, as I'm getting better, I'm like, I've got, I can actually take another week here. I've done three. I'm looking to do another week to really hone in on some of those, uh, those moves. I could move into the next phase, right? But I'm looking at, is my goal to get through it or is my goal to get better? And so uh, my personal goal is to get better. And so I want to do them all uh, right. Not, not that I have to master them or get perfect at them. You know, I don't know if that'll ever happen, uh, but I just want to get to where I feel very confident at doing the move, at least a few uh, good reps, decent form, and, and to move through. And while I've got many of them down that I struggled with the very first time around, I'm going to uh, I'm going to give myself a chance and do an extra week. Not a big deal. Uh, it, get get myself you know uh, the the infomercial ready type of type of thing. And instead of just moving through it and saying, "Hey, I conquered the, the 90 days," um, I, I will go through and say, "I did my best to do you know to to get you know, the moves down and and uh, do the proper form." I'm really excited about getting into the second phase, but but that's. That's, that's something I think uh, it, it's worthy of taking note of, of where you're at with that. And I think with any workout program, um, you know, it's easy to go through the calendar through the first, uh, first time and just stay on path. And um, I'm not starting over. You know, I've got a lot of people out there that get to a certain point and then they kind of get sidetracked for a few days and feel like they have to start the whole phase over. Oh my gosh, come on guys. Um, just continue forward again <laughs> and, uh, from where you left off or maybe repeat one week, but you don't have to start from the beginning. You keep doing that, you're never going to finish. Um, so, you know, life will always throw us curves. And so that, that's just kind of it. So anyway, assess where you're at. And you know, uh, r really look at your goals. Is your goal to make it through or is your goal to, to get better? And that's what this workout is doing for me. I'm having a blast with it. Uh, it's challenging in all the right ways. Um, you'll see my nemesis moves on here and enjoy that. But you know, and the other thing is uh, to use the camera as, as a good tool for you for that form uh, because Tony isn't walking around uh, the, the room, unless you kind of uh, join, join my team, become a coach and join us where one of Tony's live workouts, then, you know, Tony might be able to help you out. But anyway, um, you know, there you go. So that's all I have for this week. Remember, never too late. We'll see you next week.